is going on, everybody? What is going on? It's the end of gaming. What the fuck, Microsoft? Uh, Crackdown 3 is delayed. Oh my god. It's the end of Xbox. It is the end of Microsoft. Down with the devil. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, people overreacting. It's crazy. Okay, this game has been delayed. It's been talked about since 2014. Have we not forgotten about this little game called The Last Fucking Guardian? Ten years! This game was delayed a fucking decade. And the game was trash. Garbage. But anyway, you can't damage control. Microsoft, what the hell? What's going on? Um, now, me personally, I'm not too worried about this because I wasn't a big fan of Crackdown on the 360. And I wasn't going to pick this up. But we needed some games. We needed exclusives. Uh, now, y'all know how I feel. If you've been following my channel, I got a few subscribers. Um, but I do get hundreds of views on some of my videos. So people are watching. Um, I'm not a big fan of exclusives. I mean, because for me, exclusives don't move consoles. Um, it's, first off, first and foremost, is where I get the best functionality. Which is, to me, it's Xbox. It has the best controller, best internet. And games, especially this generation, are heavy focus on multiplayer. And I do play on PlayStation 4. Like I said, I got Street Fighter V, um, Tekken 7 up there. I got The Division, and I have uh, Wildlands. Uh, let me see. I ain't, I ain't got too many PS4 games. And I did buy Destiny on and like I said, the connection is decent, but uh, Xbox, my connection is on point for the most part. Uh, no scheduled maintenance that shuts me down and keeps me out of games. Uh, don't have to worry about being hacked. But anyway, that's not what we were talking about. Crackdown. Microsoft. Microsoft, you get your shit together. This has been a weak year, I agree. It's been a weak year far as exclusive games. Now, like I said, exclusives don't move me, but for those gamers that has to have exclusives to buy a console, then for them, Microsoft people are losing faith. Um, you got to tighten up, man. Uh, and it's scary because you already done canceled Fable, canceled Scalebound. Uh, so this, he closed down Lionhead Studio. So this is... Uh, it's looking scary. You lost um, the guys that did Quantum Break, uh, Remedy. They're no longer exclusive to you. They're exploring other options. So you know what that means. They're planning on releasing their next game on PS4. So it's not looking good. Uh, but me personally, like I said, I'm a gamer, man. I play games. Uh, exclusives don't move me. Multiplats what move me. Um, to, to me, they're the best games with the exception of Halo and Gears, and if you like racing, Forza, and then on the Sony side, Uncharted, uh, The Last of Us, and, you know, God of War, you know, with the exception of those type titles, multi-platforms is the way to go, you know what I'm saying, um, but I'm not gonna get out here and do these overreacting videos and stare at the camera and all of this stuff, it happens, games get delayed, like I said, Last Guardian, a whole decade. But people forget about it. You know, it's Sony. It's a pass. You know, people want to holler and trash Microsoft. That's the cool thing to do. That's how you get likes on YouTube. That's how you get views. And that's how you get subscribers. Get up there and just trash Xbox. I'm not a Sony sheep. You know, I um, uh, watched the video the other day. Uh, I like the guy. You know, OBJ the Don. He's a Sony guy. But I give him credit. He has... Bought multiple Xbox Ones this generation, and he's a Sony guy, so yes, you're going to look at Microsoft a lot harder. Like me, I'm an Xbox guy, so I look at Sony a lot harder. I got all types of gripes with Sony games, um, especially this generation. You 
know, with the exception of Uncharted, or, and you can still call that a Tomb Raider clone to a point, because you're doing the same thing that you do in Tomb Raider, so you do, but I give that uh, exception, but then you get Horizon Zero Dawn, it's fucking Tomb Raider. Just throw in some robots, it's Tomb Raider. You explore ruins instead of tombs. Uh, you got The Last of Us. Okay, that was about to be another separate title, but then you got Days Gone now. It looked like the same fucking game to me, except instead of zombies making crackling noises, you got zombies like World War Z running at you. I mean, I mean it is what it is. Sony games are looking a lot alike. And like I said, even though Hellblade is not exclusive, but if you look at it, I fucking... It looked like Horizon Zero Dawn. I thought it was DLC for Horizon for a minute when I first saw the game initially announced. You can say what you want to say, but it's fucking true. You take somebody who doesn't play video games, you show them Horizon Zero Dawn. I've done this test at work with multiple people who don't play video games. I said, and I showed them these two games. They thought it was the same damn thing. But in a way, it is what it is. Sony people going to defend Sony and Xbox people going to defend Xbox. But both these platforms have had issues. It's just that Sony caught the biggest break of all when Microsoft had this big ass fuck up of a launch of the Xbox One in 2013. Sony capitalized on it and, and Xbox just can't recover. It's, it's sad, but it is what it is. But... I'm not going to jump on the bash Xbox bandwagon because games has been delayed and games has been canceled for generations since gaming has been conceived, if that's the word I'm looking for. But, uh, by the way, it's Craig Simmons. It's gaming TV. LOL. I guess because <laughs> that's also what people say, like, LOL, because I guess because I'm not out here praising Sony every video. I'm not going to do it, because Sony does not do everything right, by no means. Granted, they're giving us games, finally. Uh, so I had people reply on comments that I posted on uh, OBJ's video. Um, Sony had exclusives at the launch. They had fucking that too. Killzone Shadowfall. Uh, Uncharted Collection Remastered. A remastered God of War 3, which didn't look better than the PS3 version, which I don't know why I bought it, but I'm a sucker for God of War. Sony's launch lineup fucking sucked. They relied on multi-platforms and the fact that, like I said, Microsoft officially kneecapped themselves at the launch of their console. But it's fine. Microsoft gave us game after game after game. You know what they did? Oh, that game is trash. That game is repetitive. That game is lame. Well, guess what? That's what I felt about the Sony lineup. Trash, lame, repetitive. It is what it is. And then I heard uh, people say, OBJ, like I said, there's no shots at OBJ. He's a good dude. Like I said, I subscribe to his channel. He makes great points. But like he said, I'm blinded by Microsoft. He's a little bit blinded by Sony. But he's like, we all know Sony takes two to three years to get rolling, but we know it's coming. Nah, that is two to three years of delays. Games that we knew about years before, now they're coming out. But it's okay because it's Sony. Just like it's okay for the Nintendo Switch to have literally zero third-party support. But it's okay. But God forbid, Xbox is now, their exclusives are slowing down. Actually, they kind of pretty much stopped. I get it. But anyway. But... You like them outright, motherfuckers. You got your little tinky torches. Ugh, Microsoft suck. Microsoft is dead. You literally got people doing this on their video. What do I do with this, motherfucker? This is no longer a gaming console, man. I have the Xbox One S. This is my son's Xbox. So I got the S down as my connection. So this is what I'm doing this video on. So. But what do I do with this motherfucker? I'm not even gonna call it a gaming console, man. Man, this is a piece of hardware. I'm 
I'ma tell you what you do with this motherfucker. Reach down. And you play games. Mass Effect. Battlefield 1. Titanfall 2. Yes, I bought it. The Evil Within. I bought it you. WWE 17. Call of Duty Infinite with the remastered. Mortal Kombat. Assassin's Creed. Is that wrong? Oh, hit the remove. Uh, let me put the controller down so it don't start the video. Battlefield Hardline Classic. DMC. Shadow of Mortal. Battlefield 4. Arkham Knight. Wolfenstein. Old I know you say. Those are all multi-platform. Okay. And that's just stuff that ain't digital. Got Recall, Dead Rising 4, Hello Master Chief Collection, Gears of War Definitive or Ultimate, Hello 5 Guardians, Dead Rising 3, I got Gears of War 4 Digital, I got Destiny Digital, you got games, so this stupid shit, and yes I'm going to call it stupid shit because y'all some dumb motherfuckers out there that say Xbox has no games. I game every day on it. Now I get it in multiplex. That's what moves me. And that's what moves, I'm going to say, about 80% of gamers. The multiplex. I just choose to play them on this motherfucker here. <laughs> it's funny because y'all are dumb, man. You, okay, Xbox has. Uh, 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 limited exclusives. I get that. Oh, they sit here and say this stupidity shit. It has no games. <laughs> Y'all are dumb. You game where you choose to play on. I get it. You choose to play your multiplayer on Sony. That's fine. But I'm not going to go over and say because I have literally one, two, three, four, five, six games on my PS4. I'm not going to say PS4 has no games. Ah. Uh, Cause I would sound fucking stupid. I just don't play the PlayStation 4 like that. Now, I got on all consoles, so yeah, I can talk about I got a Nintendo Switch. I just bought Sonic Mania on the Switch. I'm doing my thoughts on that in this other video. Like I said, I'm still in my work clothes. I just got off work. Been running around all morning with my son. I had to take him to a couple of doctor's appointments and, and stuff like that. So it is what it is. But y'all, this is funny. It's so fucking funny. Like, has no games. This is not even to mention the shit I got digital and backwards compact, which Sony, come on, get with it. Y'all motherfuckers say it don't matter, but you'll go buy Sonic Mania, fucking collector's editions, and but we don't play old, we don't buy new consoles to play old games. Some dumb shit there too. But anyway. It is what it is. Yes, it is problems with Microsoft on their first party studios. I get it. Trust me, us Xbox gamers get it. But they literally get up here and say it has no games. What a, and they do literally ask me, what games are you playing? Well, motherfucker, hopefully you're watching this or maybe someone will link it to you. You see the games that I'm playing. My library is pretty current. I got Madden 17 too, that's different. But my shit is pretty current. And yes, I got Uncharted 4 and I got the Mighty Horizon Zero Dawn that I played for exactly two days and gave it away. The game just didn't interest me. Now, not, now I'm not saying because like I so said, what is it, that recoil? I wanted to like this game, but I just, I couldn't get into it. I mean, it's, it's like, I put it like Horizon Zero Dawn. It's okay. Plan on finishing it one day. But delays happen. It's not the end of the world. There's no need to shut down or threaten people to say Xbox is done, close the gates, cut the servers off. Xbox is fine. Last I checked, now I might be wrong, but I'm not talking install base. But Xbox Live has the most current paid service, meaning more people own Xbox Live gaming. Than the PlayStation platform. So what you want? Now I get it. You got a free account. Then yes, Sony by no means they are definitely gonna have the higher 
online presence, but people that's actually paying for the plus versus gold Xboxes uh, has some more members to be the, I guess, uh, inferior console, I guess. <sighs> Them ponytails. Ponytails are delicious. Nah, <laughs> all jokes aside, Microsoft tighten your shit up. Now I get it. Sony loves to talk about games that you're going to see. And that's another thing. My brother said, we know what 2018 is going to look like. Yeah, because those games were delayed in 2015. 2016, they were delayed and pushed back. But Sony, I get it. Sony has the great marketing and they got people believing that we just going to give you all the window to the future. Those games were been in the works. They were denied, I mean, delayed, or whatever the case may be. But unlike Microsoft announcing every motherfucking thing when it comes to something bad with a game, Sony keeps it pretty much on the wraps. Now, like I say, people say, we know the roadmap for 2018. Yeah, you're getting two big exclusives. You're getting God of War 4, and you're getting Days Gone. Anybody that think The Last of Us 2 is coming out, Oh, it's Spider-Man, you're getting three, and I actually want Spider-Man, so I can't knock that at all. But for anybody thinking they're getting The Last of Us 2, Death Stranding, them shit's PS5 games. I'm going to call it like it is. Them games aren't coming out next year. If you're lucky, 2019. But Sony does it right because it got people, got their mouth watering. They licking their lips. And I kind of agree with that because I would like to see what's coming out in the near future for Xbox. But in a way, too, it's good keeping it under wraps because if you have a case like Scalebound, which that, I'm still pissed at that because I was really looking forward for Scalebound. But if you have a situation like that when you announce it early, then you end up canceling the shit. Look at the backlash on Microsoft got. So it, 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 it's two sides to every coin. It's the yin and the yang. And I said, we supposed to be gamers. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with having your preferred platform. Like I said, OBJ, he's a Sony guy. And that, that's more power to him. Enjoy your PlayStation, bro. That's what it's about. Me, I'm an Xbox guy. But I'm not going to go out my way to buy Sony every time they fuck up. And they do fuck up. This generation, though, they've been pretty much on point because Microsoft gave it to them. Pretty much. Bottom line, Microsoft has given this shit away. But, you know, last gen, Sony went through some lumps and some bumps. But, granted, I went on YouTube then like that, so I don't know what was said about it. But I can pretty sure if this generation has any idea how it was last, no one was making YouTube videos about that shit. You know what I'm saying? No one was on IGN knocking Sony for this. But, at the end of the day, we gamers, man. We gamers. We need to stop trying to cut each other heads off of stupid shit. It's all about the games. Because at the end of the day, you don't want Microsoft to go under. You don't want Nintendo to go under. And you don't want Sony to go under. Because whatever's left is going to get big-headed. And they're going to just give a shit. Bottom line. And then, then you're stuck with it. So me personally, it is what it is. Um, crackdown being delayed. Fucking sucks. But for me, like I said, I wasn't interested in it anyway. Never played a crackdown game. Uh, Jet my game with school my game with tag. Never had a crackdown. You know what I'm saying? I, I did get, I had the first one, but it wasn't mine. It was my brother in law bought it. He loves crackdown. And uh, he brought it over here and showed it to me. And I was like, eh, not my cup of tea. And like I said, people hollering all these exclusives. We need exclusives. That's what moves consoles. No, because. Out of Sony's exclusives, I play Uncharted and God of War. Oh, faithfully. You know, The Last of Us, now, first one was amazing. So, we'll see about the second. But it is one thing that is really obvious about Sony games. And people, maybe they'll get it eventually. Maybe you'll see my point. Those games are one and done. You might play it through twice, and if you're one of those gamers that go through and like to collect everything, then okay. Yeah. But the average gamer that plays Uncharted 4, the casual is like people like to throw this around. The casual. 
that likes to play that uh, play on Charter Four. They're gonna beat it once. They might go through and play their favorite levels, and that's it. Same thing with, with Gears. Like I don't play the campaign in Gears no more, but what I do play is the multiplayer. I play Horde. It's, not, it's fun. You get you and four more friends, man. Y'all get together and fight wave after wave. The shit's fucking fun. You drinking, talking shit, playing the game. Dude, hit me up. Man, how many times you can play Halo 5? Really? How many times you can play Uncharted 4? Really? And don't even say Uncharted 4 multiplayer. No one's playing it. I get people streaming it. People stream everything. But guess what? You look on your PlayStation, you, you cut it on, you tell me how many people your friend list playing Uncharted 4. Yeah. Halo 5, you ain't got to play the campaign, player. Multiplayer. That's what people playing. That's like uh, Counter-Strike. People still playing it to this day on PC. Counter-Strike. That game was when I was in high school. But nothing said about that. But Halo, no, you can't. God forbid you enjoy Halo. You know what? Like I said, boy, y'all, boy, I gave them to say some stupid shit. I ain't even gonna say gamers. I'm gonna say YouTubers. Say some stupid shit. What games are you playing? Uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, Halo. Uh, uh, what's this right here? Uh, where's a fair? Uh, fairly. Uh, this Smackdown 17. Battlefield 1. Mass Effect Andromeda. That's what I'm playing. Games. And if it wouldn't stop my video, I'll show you my digital collection. But I got games. I got a two terabyte Xbox One S, and I got a three terabyte external games. And guess what? It's not used for the PlayStation. I'm still rocking that 500 gigabyte on the PS4. Cause I don't play my games on it. I get my little exclusives on it here and there that I can't find on the box. And I, like I said, I bought Tekken 7 up there. Because I do like my fighting games on the PlayStation for the most part. Even though the Xbox One X, the Xbox One remote is really good for fighting. But the PlayStation remote just feels a little better. So I got Tekken on it. Uh, I got Street Fighter V. I got uh, The Division. Like I said, I got Wildlands. Because I got a couple guys at work that y'all need to get Xboxes. But anyway, they won't do it. They want console people. And I get it. So, you know, but uh, they get cool people. So, shout out to my boy T-Money and Nail Muse. You know, they're cool people, so I game with them. And then, you know, my boy, boy Glenn, you know, he good people. He, he, he got building computers and shit. He's a PlayStation guy and PC guy. But I rock out with them on the station. But if it really wasn't for them, I wouldn't have a PS4. Because I could go without playing God of War. I could go without playing Uncharted. But I got to play this right here. I got to, I got, I must, it's, it's, I got to play Halo, and I got to play this little game here, where is it at, that we all love to hate on, I got, got to play this, Gears of War, every time a Gears drop, and every time a Halo drop, I got to have it, I got to play it, I can go without God of War, uh, I can go without it, yeah, it's fun, but I can go without it. Go without Uncharted, play Tomb Raider. I can go without The Last of Us. I play damn Resident Evil. Shit, I won't shoot some zombies. Play Left 4 Dead. But anyway, like I said, I'm a gamer though. I, I got a station. I game on the station for what purposes it calls for. But but this here, y'all say Xbox ain't got no games. No one's playing games on Y'all stop that shit. You want to say it ain't got no exclusives? Say it ain't got no exclusives right now. Right now. They had exclusives at the beginning of this generation. Just say it ain't got none right now. It slowed down right now. But there's no games. Y'all about to be some ignorant people. So like I say, man, you know, that's why I said, that's why my channel's small, because I don't jump on the bandwagon. Let's just bash Xbox. Man, I done went on for 24 minutes. 25 minutes. 
and just bash Xbox. Bash it. No, y'all stop that shit, man. I ain't gonna do this shit. Like I said, I, I'm biased to Xbox to a point, but I, I, I try to keep it real, try to keep it gaming. That's what I do. Call it like it is. Everybody wants to say is bash the box. So you can bash it, get your likes up. I'm glad I ain't relying on YouTube for no money. I just do this to get my opinions out, my thoughts. If you agree with me, cool. If you don't, fuck it. It is what it is. But like I said, me personally, I, I'm not going to get up there and be like, yeah, I, I got to bash the box. It's the thing to do. But shit, while I'm here, shout out a couple people that just they showed me love, man. Uh, my boy, Mr. 100, Intermediate Gaming. The Direct X podcast, man. Like I said, 100, man. I, I'm bumping into him, and they've been nothing but love, man. I get up that game with him, man. Just one day, he just sat down and talked with me for about 30 minutes. I picked his brain on a few things. So, you know, shout out to Mr. 100, man. Thank you, bro. Good look. And then uh, a couple other people. Let's see what it is. And my uh, Heartless TV. Heartless TV. We got to get up, bro. Do some good gaming. Do some talking. Some good conversation. That's what's up. Shout out to him. And uh, my boy, he whooped my ass some tech and I want me to get back. Uh, uh, JRB on the beats. That dude be laying down some tight tracks too, man. Some good music. But yeah, I'm going to get my get back on Tekken 7, player. That shit ain't going to go unchecked. But in a way, like I say, man, no matter what you play on, whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, PC, man, or Nintendo, shit, fuck it. Stop letting these... Certain channels get out here and want to pre-program people. Yeah, we all know Microsoft is going through a drought right now, but they all consoles have their issues. Switch ain't got no third party. PlayStation right now ain't got no good internet connection, no good motherfucking shooters on it. And they ain't got no good racers, to be honest with you, because Gran Turismo look like some shit. And you know, Xbox, they need exclusives. They need first party games, I get it. But to sit up here and just go after one set fan base, because... It's the cool thing to do. Get your likes up. Y'all need to stop that shit. But anyway, this is your boy Cray Simmons, man. This is Gaming TV. And like I said, I, I keeps it real, no pun intended. And if you like what I, I'm providing, my content and everything, hit that like button. Share. Subscribe. Spread the word. Anyway, I'm out. Game on.